Hey there, I'm Kat. Welcome back to my channel. We got something a little different today. Uh, so I do occasionally do haul videos, but I don't usually do these kinds of haul videos. But this was just too much fun to pass up. Um, so if you're new to my channel, of course, take a minute, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good youtube -y stuff. Um, make sure you turn on the all notification bell so that you get notified of all my awesome videos. Um, I do a lot of mega unboxings. I certainly do haul videos and I do sample freebie and discount videos where I find all the free stuff I can for a month and show you everything I got, tell you how to get it. Um, I also do a lot of collab videos and a ton of giveaways. But today I am doing an Amazon returns box. Um, so there are a few sites and I will link some down below um, where you can have um, buy boxes of Amazon returns and have them shipped to your house. But I happen to have an Amazon return store in my area. Um, and there are a lot of these around. I don't think this particular company is franchised. It's just one store, one owner. Um, but these are certainly around. You can find them. So look up and see if you have a local one. This is so much fun. So I will tell you how my Amazon return store works and show you some amazing, I don't even know what all this stuff is. A lot of it I just threw in the box. Well, I'll get into that. <laughs> so what they do is they have different uh, systems for different days of the week. Uh, so their week starts on Saturday. Saturday morning, you line up like it's Black Friday. Literally go all the way down the sidewalk um, with people in line for the doors to open at 10 a.m. You grab a bag, you run to the counters, and there's just boxes and bags full of stuff everywhere and you grab anything that looks fun or exciting or interesting and you throw it in your bag so on saturdays and sundays everything in the store is seven dollars doesn't matter what it is doesn't matter how expensive it was seven dollars um so i have seen people get laptops i saw somebody the other day get a um it was a drone with a camera attached to it now i'm sure it was an off-brand maybe not it could have been a gopro who knows i believe i actually have an off-brand gopro in this box um, so there's some stuff, like this was actually in a plastic bag, but I could clearly tell what the heck it was. Um, there's boxes that are clearly marked. Um, and then there's other stuff that's just in cardboard boxes and you have no idea what it is. There's, there's clothing that you can't tell what it is or what size it is. Um, so what you do after you get your bag full is you can go to their unboxing station and they will open up anything you want them to open up so you can check it, make sure it works, it's not broken, it's the right size, find out what the heck is in the weird cardboard box, or you can just mystery box it, throw a bunch of stuff in a bag and check out, um, which I have done both. So some of the stuff is open because it's stuff I already looked at. Some of it, I have no idea what it is. We're gonna find out together. Um, and then they move on. So Saturday and Sunday, it's the full $7. On Monday, everything drops to $4 that's still there. On Tuesday, it's $3. And on Wednesday, they have the $2 blowout. Anything left in the store, $2. Um, so I went in on Tuesday with 20 bucks and bought 10 things. No idea what they are. Didn't even have them open. Just threw them in a bag and bought them. Uh, so, so much fun to do. You get a lot of clothes on and shelving for some reason they get a lot of shelving i don't know um but yeah so this is everything in here is things that someone purchased and returned to amazon sometimes you can tell why they purchased them um, we'll see a few of those things as we go through it all right shall we just open this random box and see what it is let's see what i got i have no idea there's no markings on the outside of this box mm. I got, I got a giant succulent planter. Nice. So, I bet you this thing's 20 bucks. These planters are expensive. And this one is huge. Wow. Well, all right. Now I gotta keep a succulent alive long enough for it to grow big enough to go in this pot. No. All right, not bad. So, um, this one, obviously already out of the package because I had to check it out for myself very snazzy top hat um, and I did check out the brand uh, this particular top hat sells on Amazon for like $29 so let's get these off the top I grabbed this I actually did not know what this was it was the very first item I bought on day one it was a big black box and all I knew is that it was shoes because it had European size 39 which is what I wear so I opened them up and this is what I got Cowboy boots. 
They're very nice, high quality cowboy boots. Oh, I have to stack them up back here. Up next is um, some game. It's a keyboard and mouse for um, for video gaming. So particularly for like the first person shooter relay games. Um, my husband doesn't actually play those type of games very often, so he probably will not use this. So I would probably end up, I don't know. If you have a use for this, um, put a comment down below and I will send it to someone. Uh, it is Red Dragon is the brand if you want to look it up. Uh, so if you want the Red Dragon keyboard and mouse, uh, put Red Dragon in the comment and I'll pick a winner. And this I believe is, it says action camera. I think it's gonna be like a GoPro, but obviously off brand. Yep. Nice. Action camcorder, full HD video, 1080, 30 frames per second. I'm gonna assume waterproof because it shows pictures of somebody in the water. Awesome, somebody's getting this as a Christmas present, $7. Uh, this is a random piece of clothing. I'm pretty sure it's either going to be a bra or a bathing suit because you can kind of feel. I'm guessing bathing suit. Yep. This uh, was one of the $2 day items. It's really pretty, but I think it's going to be too big for me. <laughs> Let's see what size does it say. Um, it's an extra large, so it's going to be too big for me. I will see if I can find somebody else to wear it. All right, more clothing. This, all I can see is navy size large. And pajama pants? Oh, joggers, okay. Just some comfy, they're very soft. Feel very good quality. Uh, yep, size large. We'll have to see, they might be a little big for me, but probably not. Obviously this was a cooler of some sort. <laughs> Yes, it's like a lunchbox or a travel cooler. It looks like it's one of those ones that'll hold a six pack. It looks like it'll hold a six pack of long neck bottles, actually. Not gonna lose that at the lake. All right. Yep, insulated on the inside, comes with the big long strap, very nice. Might be using that as my new lunchbox. Uh, let's see, I think all of the next Stack here is all two dollar stuff that I got. Super cheap. Thankful and blessed. Nice. And it's a three quarter. I love a three quarter sleeve, especially for work. Oh, and it's a size medium. Perfect. New work shirt. I have no idea what this was, but it looked interesting, and it was two bucks. I believe it is a giant pair of overalls. Yep. <laughs> Are overalls back in fashion? They were in fashion in the late 90s. Did anybody have the overalls? I totally had the overalls. Anyway, moving on. Still in the $2 bags. Ooh, I think this is a dress. Cute. Like a real simple little sweater dress. So, oh, it's a size small. Probably won't fit me. Maybe I'll give it to mom. She can wear it with some leggings. Okay. Had to figure out where I was in the snack of $2 bags. All right. Next in the $2 bags. I think this might also be a dress. Yep. All right. So it's, um, it's just a dress. It does kind of come up high. It's three quarter sleeve. It's a long and it looks small. So that one might be a no-go for $2. I don't know what this is, but the material looks pretty, so I got it. Let's see what it is. I'm hoping it's a skirt. Might be a dress. It is a dress. It's very wrinkled, but it's super cute. Oh, with like a bright colored belt. Nice. And I think this is my size. I'm going to try this on, see how it looks. Uh, this might be another dress. 
you know, women's clothing, you get it, you try it on, it's never the size you thought it was gonna be, so it all ends up in Amazon returns. If you ever wondered where it goes, this is where it goes. All right, so this is a wrap dress. So it's got a big long tie, so it wraps around. It's flowy at the bottom. This would be cute for like a summer wedding. Something outdoor, casual. All right. Or you could wear it as a really cute bathrobe. <laughs> uh, we're almost at the bottom of the $2 stuff. We got some yoga shorts or some bike shorts. Look at this pile going on behind me. All right, I think this is the last of the $2 stuff. Let's see what it is. It was just really colorful. I have no idea what it is. It is little kids' shorts. I don't think they're my size. And, all right, I think the rest of these are $7 items. All right, so this appears to be, I think it's gonna be a sweatshirt. Oh, I was hoping it was gonna be a zippered sweatshirt. It's not, it's a pullover. And I just got a really nice pullover from Seek Discomfort. Um, so, I don't know what I'll do with this. I'm gonna gift this to a friend. Might keep it, it's really cool colors. Let's see what we got next. Uh, looks like yoga pants, or running shorts, three quarters. From Navskin. Uh, adult large. Awesome. I would have paid 20 bucks for those on Amazon, I bet. We'll see what what the video says. Um, this looks like something that's going to be a nice Christmas gift. If, I don't know if it's the full-size towel. It looks like it's two smaller towels. Um, so like kitchen towels. Really nice quality. Look at the patterns. Beautiful. Handmade in Turkey. Okay, it's going in a gift bag. This thing, I have a feeling I know what this is, but I just couldn't pass it up. It was on the day I also bought the cowboy boots and the top hat. <laughs> I have no idea what size it is. Yep, it is an adult wetsuit. So it's not full sleeve and leg, it's the shorts and short sleeve. But a full size adult wetsuit, What's the brand? The Morkin? The Morkin? I can't say that. A size medium. Okay. I'm not sure I have any use for a adult wetsuit. I'll have to figure out what the heck to do with that, but there you go. I got a $7 wetsuit. <laughs> this one is clearly a bag of some sort because the straps were hanging out the side and I liked the color. So let's see what I got for $7. Ooh, it's a big bag. Ooh, this might be a new work bag. This. Pockets. More pockets. And a big long strap. Yep, new work bag. We got a couple more things in here. Um, Viscata Barcelona. Um, I did actually Google these out of curiosity uh, when I was in the store since I could clearly read the brand. So I already know what the number is going to pop up. And it's a good one. Look at these beautiful, beautiful wedges in my size, of course. Very exciting. Um, Viscata Barcelona handcrafted in Spain. So very excited about that. I'm not a huge fan of the high heel, but I will wear a wedge. And those are beautiful. Um, and I did look them up and even on the Amazon sale that's going on right now, these are $100. I got them for seven bucks. I got for my outside lights, some new solar landscaping spotlights. I do hope all the pieces are in here because this was one I just bought, blind bought. Let's see. 
Uh, but I know these are expensive, like at least $30, $40. I've seen them $50, $60, $70, depends on the brand. I don't know this particular brand, um, but it's a nice box. Yep, there's two lights in here, awesome. Very nice. Patio and security lights. And the last box, clearly can tell what it is. Um, and I don't have any trouble figuring out why it was returned. Um, because it says 50 pair on the side. So that's the only problem with this. Uh, I am still perfectly happy for $7 with my box here, um, but either someone stole half of them out and then returned them, or it's only 25 in the box and it's supposed to say 50 um, patches, not 50 pairs. I'm not sure which is the case. It looks like if they packed it in here, they could have easily fit 50 in here, um, but there's definitely only 25. I counted that one because I was like, but I'm still happy 25 of the um, gold eye masks for seven bucks. Still a steal. It's basically 25 cents um, eye mask. All right, so we make it to the bottom. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff. Um, that was a crazy amount of stuff. All right, I think that's it. I don't know. There might be more stuff laying around. <laughs> there was so much stuff. But uh, what do you think? That was my massive Amazon haul. Um, we will have to add up a total here and I will put it right here somewhere. Okay, uh, so uh, you will know, well, I will know before you, but I don't know right now what the grand total of what I spent and uh, what it was valued at is. So we'll see. <laughs> of course, as always, as far as I'm concerned, the value is the value of what I paid for it. So this could be a $200 wetsuit, but it's only a $7 value to me because that's all I spent on it. That's why I love discounts. Um, and this is some amazing discounts. So these shoes alone, I'm guessing are going to cover the cost of just about everything else I bought. <laughs> and I love these shoes. All right, that's it. That's my entire Amazon haul or Amazon return haul. Um, let me know if you have done any of these Amazon returns. If you've gotten one of the boxes from We Bargains or something like that. I know there's a lot of that stuff out there. Um, like I said, I will link uh, this company's website along with um, some of the online ones that I know of as well. If you want to check out an Amazon return haul, they are a ton of fun. Uh, I really like this one because you can kind of see what you're getting. It's not a complete mystery box. Um, there's stuff that you really have no idea when you open the box, but you can tell if it's clothing or shelves or whatever. Um, I did not end up with any shelves because I didn't buy anything that was a super heavy package like that. All right, that's it. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.